Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. My daughter actually just woke up from her nap, so if you hear little toddler sounds over here, she's eating her lunch. But um, today I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. I have heard very few things about this palette. I mean, no big YouTubers are really talking about it, and I thought it would have been like a lot more popular than it is, and I kind of have like my suspicions why, um, which I'll tell you about um, in a second. But here is the palette. It is a 16 color palette. It's got some um, warm tones, some cool tones, some orangey shades, and some like plum shades. And there's actually quite a few plum shades, but I will get into the swatches in a little bit. This set comes with this palette, a full-sized Better Than Sex mascara, a teddy bear hair brush, and a full-sized pumpkin spice lip gloss. And the lip gloss is exclusive to this set. You cannot buy it on its own. You can only buy it when you get this set. And this entire set is $49, and you can only get it off of HSN's website, which is the Home Shopping Network. Now, I'm going to give you some of my like first thoughts and stuff before we really get into the review, because I feel like some of the thoughts that I had before purchasing this were a lot of the thoughts that everyone else had. So the first one being that this looks... I mean, it's very pretty. The packaging is very pretty, but overall, it looks like a standard Too Faced holiday collection palette. And I think a lot of people are really bored of the Too Faced holiday collection palettes. I think that's why a lot of people kind of went crazy over the Too Faced gingerbread palette this year because it was something different um, for them for the holidays. Whereas this is, I mean, every year they do something um, pink and cardboard and glittery um, and put it together with some of their other products and sell it. And this year even they have two other um, collections. They have the Dream Queen collection and the Christmas Tree collection and the packaging for those looks again very similar to this and you could easily mistake this I feel like for any holiday collection palette that Too Faced has come out with in the past few years because they all look so similar. Now the gimmick with this one is that it smells like pumpkin spice and I don't smell anything. The lip gloss does have a pumpkin spice scent, but the palette, I don't, I literally do not smell anything. It just smells like cardboard. So, um, that's kind of a bummer. And then when you actually look at the eyeshadows, they all look kind of boring. Again, in typical like Too Faced holiday fashion. They are very neutral. This one doesn't even have like much pop of color because even the colorful shades are like kind of toned down. We have a couple plums and stuff in there, but um, they're even kind of toned down in like neutral purples. So those were like a couple things that made me not excited about this palette. And I think a lot of people, they saw the pumpkin spice, they got really excited, and then they actually looked at it and it looked very boring. Now the reason that I bought this palette and the reason that I think um, it's worth considering is the value of the overall set. Like I said, this set is $49 on HSN. Um, HSN also has free shipping on Too Faced products, so $49 and you get free shipping. You would not get that on Sephora or Ulta because both those websites you typically need to spend at least $50 for free shipping unless you like pay for the um, two-day shipping all year round, which I personally don't pay for. But um, unless you have that, you would have to find another dollar to spend, which would be hard on Sephora's website, um, in order to get the free shipping on a set like this. Um, so it's $49, but it comes with full-sized other like extras. It comes with a full-sized Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is typically, I think about $24. And then it comes with a full-sized lip gloss and their lip glosses are about like $20, around $20 more or less. Um, so the mascara and the lip gloss already in value are worth about $44. Um, and then you also get a teddy bear hair brush and the palette. And you're getting all of that for $49. Also, on HSN's website, they almost always have coupons. I mean, I think most websites you can usually find coupons, but HSN has like really good coupons. For example, when I purchased this, they had a $10 off coupon code going around. So I was able to get all of this for $39, which is such a good deal, especially when you take into consideration the mascara and the lip gloss. Again, a $24 mascara normally, this lip gloss, um, you can't buy this lip gloss on their on its own, but I'm estimating if they did sell it on its own, it would be about twenty dollars. 
so you're getting a good value for everything that's in here and that is a big reason why i decided to purchase this palette now i surprisingly actually loved the eyeshadows in this palette um, when i bought it i kind of had the mindset that they're not going to be very good the holiday palettes are not very good the few people that i have seen review this palette have given it not very good reviews but i personally was very impressed with this palette in particular and you'll see at the end of this video when i show you how i did my eyeshadow but in particular i was very impressed with the glitter shadow that i used and the glitter was so easy to use and it looks really really beautiful so like i said at the end of the video i'm going to show you um how i did this makeup with this eyeshadow palette i also used the lip gloss and the teddy bear hair brush um, however, I did not use the mascara today because I have a lot of mascaras already opened. I think I have five different mascaras already opened and I want to use those up before they go bad and before I open up another new mascara. So I'm going to save this. Um, that being said, this is my favorite mascara of all time. There is something about the wand and the shape of this wand. It kind of has like a figure eight shape and it just makes putting on mascara so easy. So I apologize that I'm not going to be trying this on on camera for you guys, but um, you're just going to have to take my word for it. It is, it really is an amazing mascara. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches and the colors that are in this palette. The first is called Love You A Latte, and it is like a very light beige. On me, this is pretty much a translucent powder because it is so light. Then going across the top, the next shade is Pumpkin Spice. And this looks, I mean, it looks like the color of cinnamon. It is a very cinnamony color, a warm toned neutral. Then we have something sweet, which would actually make like such a pretty highlight shade. I think it's a little, um, I would say like almost a light champagne color, a light cool toned champagne. Um, it is a very, very pretty um, sparkly color and then we have blushing pumpkins at the end of that row which is a pink with like gold flecks of glitter and this is so pretty and it swatches really well this actually kind of reminds me of wanderlust which is my favorite stila liquid eyeshadow of all time and this is like it really is like a powder version of wanderlust so then we go to the next row. We have Oh My Gourd, which is like a warm toned light brown. It's actually very similar to Pumpkin Spice, but it's just um, like a lighter, warmer version of Pumpkin Spice. And then we have Golden Pumpkin, which is the gold I used on my eyes today. And this is such a beautiful sparkly gold color. I was so impressed with how well this applied to the lid. And it is just a really, really pretty gold. Next we have Love and Pumpkins, which is a matte pink. This would be a really pretty color for blush. It's just a nice light pink. And then we have Fall and Fudge, which is a plum color. It's interesting they call it fudge. Um, it kind of swatches, I don't know if it's just my eyesight, but sometimes I look at it and I feel like it looks like a muted purple. And then sometimes I look at it and I'm like, okay, yeah, that is, that's a dark brown. That's a fudge color. But I just, I can't really decide what I think it is. It's, sometimes it looks like brown, sometimes it looks like purple. Next we have Sweater Weather, which is like a metallic-y plum color. This one doesn't really swatch very well. It doesn't like, you can tell that the metallic, but you, it doesn't really pick up on the glitter very much, which is kind of disappointing because when you look at the palette, this shade is like the closest thing to a pop of color. So I, I'm really disappointed in this color. There's just not a lot of pigment. Next we have Cream Cloud, which is almost like a really light, I mean it swatches white, but when you look at it in the palette, it almost looks like a really light lilac color, but, but it's actually very white looking. Then we have Pretty as a Pumpkin, and this is like the true orange in the palette. This is the pumpkin shade of the Pumpkin Spice palette. Um, I feel like, like I was surprised that this was the only like really orange color in here. But um, that's the orange color. Then we have Praline, which is so beautiful. This is like a true champagne highlighting color. It's so pretty. It swatches really nicely. I, I really love this color. Then we have Sugar and Spice, which almost looks kind of duochrome when you're looking at it in the palette. And then when you swatch it, I can't really put 
Um, I guess it does kind of look a little bit duochrome. Like sometimes in the light it looks a little pink, sometimes it looks a little purple. I can't quite put my finger on the color. Um, maybe it's just like a pinkish purple shimmer and my brain is like mistaking it for duochrome. But I can't really quite put my finger on what it's supposed to look like. Then we have Spiced Coffee, which is another matte plummy shade. This is more along, this is more of like a, a maroon shade than a plum shade. But this is another like really nice pretty matte. And then we have Pumpkin Butter, which is another shimmer shade. It is like a burnt orange. And this is like, this shade of all the other shades swatches the best. It is the most pigmented. It is like a beautiful burnt orange coppery color. And it's just a really, really nice color. And then the very last shade in here is Cinnamon Stick. And it is like a brown color with some gold glitter. And this is so pretty. This is another one that swatches really nice. I don't think I have any colors like this in all of my eyeshadows because it's brown with gold sparkle. And it is just so, so stunning. And so this is another color that I absolutely love. And then now that we have the palette all swatched, I'm going to go ahead and swatch this lip gloss. It's kind of like a pinky, almost coral color, and then it has like glitter in it, which I'm very surprised that it's pink. I thought it would be more orange or at least more warm toned given that this is a pumpkin spice palette. That being said, it is a very pretty pink. And given that there are quite a few pinky shades and like purpley shades in this palette, I feel like it does go well with this palette. Okay guys, so now that you have listened to my little spiel and I've shown you all the swatches of these colors, I am going to go ahead and insert the clips of me doing this look as well as reviewing and giving the my first impressions of this palette. So let's go ahead and get on into that. So I'm going to start off by using the Teddy Bear hairbrush. I'm going to try to use this brush as much as possible with this look so I can give it a good review. And I think I'm gonna go for like a warm, I think I'm gonna do like a warm smoky look. So I'm gonna start off with Love You A Latte, which is right here. Um, it's like a true, oh, like a pinky beige. And I'm just gonna put that on the lid. I love the big mirror on this already. It's coming, <laughs> I haven't even started yet and already it's very convenient. So I'm just gonna put that on the lid. I like to personally put um, like very light, almost translucent colors on my lid before I do eyeshadow because I find it helps better with blending. But when you do that, it also kind of makes the um, pigment not as pigmented, like not as bright and colorful. And so you lose kind of that pigment power, but it helps your eyeshadow blend better when you do that. Now I'm going to take the um, main like orange shade in here, pretty as a pumpkin, and put that um, in my crease. This teddy bear hairbrush so far, it's very soft. Um, and it's, but it's also very dense. And sometimes dense brushes are really nice. However, sometimes they also make it harder to blend. The bristles don't like move as easily when there's um, a bunch like packed in together. And so blending with this is a little hard. But um, a benefit of having very like densely packed bristles is um, you're able to get more eyeshadow onto the brush. So this brush is good for like applying eyeshadow to your lid, but then you might want to take a fluffier brush um, to blend. That being said, like as you can see, I am blending with this. It is workable, but if you are new to makeup, um, a fluffier brush would probably be easier to do this with. So as you can see, the pigment is like not super, super bright. But like I said, I also did put that like transition shade. So I'm gonna just try to build it up a bit. And as you can see, it is buildable. Now 
I'm actually, I'm not loving the shape of this and part of that is because that brush is so dense it is, it's harder to blend, um, like I said. So I'm actually gonna do another color first with the same brush and then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush to kind of blend the edges. So I'm gonna take this one, oh my gourd, and put that kind of in the outer corner and blend it into the crease a little bit and then I'm gonna take an even darker shade after that. And as you can see, I'm also just blending it up into the crease just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to take this one, which is Pumpkin Spice. And it's a brown, but it's kind of like a cooler tone. Um, it almost looks like it has like a plum undertone, but I'm just going to dab my brush in that very lightly. And then just kind of sweep that also into that outer corner and into the crease just to deepen it a bit more. Now I'm going to take a different brush, as you can see, is this even clean? Yeah, it's clean. Um, it is a Crown Brushes uh, fluffy brush. I don't know, I got it in FabFitFun. Um, it doesn't have a name on it though, and I'm just taking this, going on the outer edges, and just blending that. And see how much nicer that looks when it's blended out like that? That being said, I personally don't use brushes like this for packing on eyeshadow because I find that they um, cause more fallout. So the teddy bear hair brush is good, like it does have a purpose and I would say that it does go well with this set. Um, next I'm going to take like a little eyeliner brush and I'm going to go in with um, that pretty is a pumpkin, the orange shade again and put that on my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to take Oh My Gourd and put that on top, starting like halfway. So I'm going to start like right here in the middle, like halfway through my eye, and do that on the outer edge on both sides. And then I'm going to take Pumpkin Spice and do that on the very outer edge. Blend that up into um, my other eyeshadow. And then I'm just taking another fluffier brush and just going to blend that together and blend it down a little bit. Now I want to do a cut crease and I think I want to use, I'm going to try Golden Pumpkin, which is this gold shade right here. And I'm specifically wanting to use that glitter because I personally have a hard time with gold. So depending on how well this works will, um, I feel like, really tell how the glitter eyeshadows are because gold seems to be one of the colors that I really struggle with. So I'm going to take some concealer. Today I'm using the um, Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. And I'm just going to take a little brush and I'm going to use that to prep the area for the glitter. And this, unlike the beginning of the video, I'm not going to set with a light powder because I really want that glitter to stick. So I'm doing the opposite of what I did at the beginning. So I've kind of got like a half cut crease going on. And now actually, I'm going to clean off this brush, the teddy bear hair, and see if this would be good for packing on glitter. I just kind of dusted off what I could on a towel, and now I'm taking that golden pumpkin shade. We're just going to try it out, packing it on. Mm, 
that's not working. So I'm gonna go in with my finger, which is what I typically do for glitters. Oh, that's really pretty. This glitter is actually very soft and um, it almost looks like a foiled shadow. I honestly, I couldn't tell you the difference between a foiled shadow and a normal glitter. But of all the glitters, this looks like it would be the chunkiest and the hardest to work with. And have the most like, um, fallout, you know? But this is actually going on really nicely and it doesn't feel like a chunky glitter. Okay. I actually really like that. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't think that was gonna work because I usually really struggle with glitter shadows. But that went on so nicely. And as you can see, there's a little fallout, especially right here in my inner corner area. I've got a little fallout right there, so I'm just gonna dust that away. Then I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some liquid liner and do a wing. I'm going to put on some mascara and some false eyelashes and then I will come back to you guys with the lips. Also, I'm not going to be using the Better Than Sex mascara today. It is my favorite mascara of all time. So I hope you guys can just trust me on that. But I have like literally five different mascaras opened right now. So um, I want to use up those five before I open more and risk any of them going bad. Um, so I'm going to be using the Lancome Hypnos Drama today, but, um, the Better Than Sex Mascara is a really good product to get in this. It's a full size. It's a really good value. So, um, I'll see you guys in a minute and we'll try out the lip gloss. Okay guys, so now eyes are finished, so I'm going to go ahead and try out the lip gloss that this, um, kit comes with. It's just the Pumpkin Spice ultra plush lip gloss i'm going to first try it on just on my lips plain but i usually don't wear lip gloss plain i think i will usually put it on top of a liquid lipstick um so i think after i try it on plain and see how it looks for the sake of the video i'm going to put it on top of a lipstick because that is how i would truly wear it in my everyday life Ooh, that smells really good Oh, this is beautiful. So this is like a really gorgeous shimmery pink color. And it is a very pretty color. I would purchase this um, on its own. However, it doesn't really remind me of pumpkin spice. Um, I was expecting it to be a little like oranger or a little more warm toned. Um, it does like when it's in here, it does look more of like a warm toned uh, neutral, not necessarily an orange, but on your lips, it does look very pink. Now, in order to keep true to the pumpkin spice theme that we're going with here, I'm going to take the Pumpkin Spice Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced. I did a review on this um, uh, liquid lipstick set. I will link it down below. But I'm going to take the Pumpkin Spice color from that set, put that on, and then put the lip gloss on top. And actually, I kind of want to compare the scents of these two products because they're both Pumpkin Spice scented. Yeah, they smell like exactly the same. There's literally no difference in how they smell. Now, one reason that I like putting lip glosses on top of liquid lipsticks is because I get very dry lips. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but my lips are very dry right now and the liquid lipstick kind of picks up on those dry areas. So when you put gloss on top, um, having that like sheen layer um, removes that. Like um, it makes the lipstick not so dry and then you can't see all the little imperfections and gross parts of my lip. So here's what it looks like before lip gloss and now let's put it on. 
Ooh, the glitter shows up a lot more already. Um, I don't know how much you guys can see, but the glitter shows up a lot more when you put it on top of a color versus when you use it on its own. There, and it didn't really change the color a whole lot, but it gave it like a nice glossy topper. Um, and I actually really like this as a topper, um, but like that's typically how I prefer to use lip gloss anyways, is I prefer to use it as a topper. So um, I think my overall review of this palette is I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, I wasn't sure how it would turn out because I've heard not very great things about the Too Faced Christmas collections but I'm actually really impressed. It does hold true. I mean, I've only tried one other Too Faced um, eyeshadow palette before. It's that like little mini Too Faced natural palette. And um, I feel like the quality of this is just as good as the quality of that one. And if you compare it to all of the different things you're also getting in this set, the value of this is actually even better than the value of that one. So I would say I definitely recommend this. Because one, I mean, for one, that glitter shade, amazing. I was, I'm so impressed with how well that glitter went on. And um, I mean, it's no Stila liquid eyeshadow, which are my favorite glitters, but I really struggle with um, like powdered eyeshadow glitters. And that went on so, so nicely. I'm really, really impressed with that glitter. And honestly, that kind of like made the palette for me. Otherwise, I would have just kind of shrugged my shoulders and been like, well, it's a you know, um, warm toned eyeshadow palette, but that glitter, seriously, so good. And then the lip gloss is, I feel like it performs as a standard Too Faced lip gloss. It's nice that it has the scent. Um, I'm a little confused why it's more pinky instead of more orangey when it's pumpkin, but I mean, it's still a really pretty lip gloss. And then I already told you guys my review of the brush. It's a nice brush. I feel like it's your, your average eyeshadow brush. Um, it does a good job packing on pigment, not good job blending. So that is my, um, you know, very quick review slash first impressions of this palette. I do think it is worth the money. I, I mean, that's pretty much why I bought it is because I thought it was, um, the worth that you were getting at it was very good. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.